Hey there everybody, it's Brent here and I'm about to do an unboxing of the Hot Toys Deluxe Mandalorian and Baby Grogu box set. Uh, some time ago I did get the Mandalorian from uh, season one uh, in his original armor, which I absolutely love the detail on this figure. I thought it was incredible. And um, I, uh, for the longest time, put off getting this one on order, but figured that they probably won't stay on the shelves too much longer. Uh, this version here is the uh, is the uh, silver armor, so I'm very excited to see how this particular figure looks. All right, so as usual, well protected box from Hot Toys Sideshow, uh, which makes it. Good for when to deliver it in the mail. It holds up to its strength. And what we've got here, a little bit of cardboard. And nice and sealed in. There we go. And yeah, all right. Put you over there. we come. I always love the cover art. Everything that the Hot Toys do with their products are just incredible. The, the quality of just the box alone is incredible. And yes, this deluxe set is the 12 inch scale figure. I'm gonna put that just over here. All right. Secondary cover that they put in, like a shell piece cover. Again, beautifully done. Again, the artwork is just absolutely incredible. Uh, both on the product as well as the photography that they do uh, to uh, seal these boxes in. And I'm going to put you over there. Oh wow, there are so many pieces in here. Uh, this, this is just an incredible look at the amount of pieces this particular figure does cover. Uh, so we're going to take these all out individually and uh, take a look. So on the top here, we have the different types of Mando uh, uh, hand pieces. We have actually up here blaster fire coming off from his blaster. Uh, they can be attached. We happen to have a fob. We happen to have the keychain with the little... Uh, emblem we actually happen to have a uh, shoulder plate that uh, you can replace obviously uh grappling hook it seems that goes into the grappling gun a few other pieces oh look it's actually got the uh oh this is awesome you can actually join on the uh, uh the um whispering birds uh, uh, uh weapon piece and a little plate a uh, little uh Target plate. Oh, and a uh, thermal detonator. Now, uh, this really comes with a whole lot of stuff. This is incredible. Again, I'm going to end up by pulling these out individually. Next thing we have to do is let's pull this out. This is the outer casing. have see oh, there is actually two baby Gregos. that's that's awesome oops that's cool all right so little pieces are falling out here we happen to have what looks like a piece of the pod that oh this is so cool all right let's get this plastic out from here
Now we actually happen to have a tiny baby Grogu in his little pod, as well as the cover that, so yeah, the, the tiny little pod and Grogu within the pod. That's that's a really awesome little piece. The, the detail, <laughs> that's so cool. Now look, it's actually not a full Grogu too. It's actually kind of like Grogu in 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 kind of uh, magnet mode. It's got a magnet on the bottom, so it actually sits tightly. You can position it wherever you want to position him inside. You've got a little piece of cloth, additional fabric rag in there. That, that That's a cool little piece. I like that. All right. We have here what looks like a fob with a hologram of a potential target. Actually, this looks like it's Mando. That's interesting. Huh. We do have a little uh, Cloud City uh, um, ice cream maker, which is also, it looks like it's designed to open up. I should probably look at the instructions on this one. Yes, it's designed to open up and uh, it looks like you do put, ah, look, there's the Beskar. You get your Beskar and you actually can put your Beskar inside. Nice and reflective in silver. Very cool. That's awesome. I like that. Beskar sits in there. Oh. Nice, all these sides open up. Ha, <laughs> oh, that's sweet. That is just, that's cool. I like that, I like that a lot. Display off the best guy. Uh, there are so many pieces to this particular figure. This is well worth the price. You know, Next, we have ourselves a full standing baby Grogu. His hand reached out. He's got a bit of head movement here. Looks like he's just got the head movement. His body's mostly a stationary piece, but uh, all the more adorable. Look at him, he's so cute. Ah, oh, look at this. Grogu and Grogu. All right, so baby Grogu is gonna live down here. So next, let's take out the man of the hour. And we have a really nicely silver coated Din Djarin, well protected. Make sure there's no scratches. The Din Djarin figure. All the points of articulation. This, this figure is quite something. They did a nice job of capturing the silver on his helmet and on his armor, uh, the freshly uh, Freshly made silver Beskar. This is really cool. Just even the back there, if you have a look. All detail. There is actually a little magnetic spot and a little hole in the cape. So it's designed that when his blaster goes on his back, it can actually magnetically lock itself in place. So it stays in place when you... Uh, pull out his blaster, which is the next thing. Oh, this weapon, I really do want to make a full-size weapon of this. Just its design is so cool. And of course it dates all the way back to the Star Wars Holiday Special, where it makes its first appearance with Boba Fett 
uh, from the 1979 Star Wars special. But yeah, I'll put that down there. So other things we've got, we've got some batteries. So it looks like there's a part of him that either lights up or makes sounds. So I'm gonna figure out where that comes from. Let's take this out. We've got one more piece to come out from here, which is going to be, oh, more than one piece. We actually have a whole pile of pieces right in the bottom here. More new stuff. We have his backpack. We have engines that come out, fly the engines that come out from the backpack. We happen to have the base. What else was there? And there's something else in there. I'm going to have to take this out to have a look. Let's put this to the side. Let's see what we got here. This is like the gift that keeps on giving. Oh my god, there's so many levels. Come on, you. Now I have to find the instruction manual. Okay, so we've got a tape piece right here. Let's put you off to the side here. That's the one thing. These figures, the Sideshow figures, Hot Toys, have got a great balance. So they can hold their weight. You can manipulate them easy enough and they still hold their own weight without falling over. Uh, most, most action figures tend to have this upper torso weight problem that tends to uh, have them topple over. So we happen to have here a base with a base plate uh, as well as a side connecting plate with a bit of the ground texture. Which side is that? One of the sides. It's a ground texture that goes on for uh, what I'm guessing is a place for putting Grogu. Okay, so we have here an actual additional clip. I've very rarely had to use these clips. These are to help hold the figure in place. I guess they're there to support if uh, if uh, there's an earthquake or something like that. But uh, at this point in time, I don't necessarily need the clip in place. What do we have here? We have a clear stem. Oh, this is probably for the pod. I see. We put this underneath here. And this is a clear piece of plexi, which is designed to make the pod hover. That's kind of cool. I like that. Where does this pod sit on the base here? Hmm. Well, I guess it involves an instruction manual. Who needs instructions? Okay. We also have right here Din Djarin's backpack, which more uh, modified it doesn't have the rocket pack off the top as large as boba fett's but again all brand new all uh all uh, sealed and look at that it hits on with a magnet so it just literally will sit in place either in front of the fabric or if it wants to be on the side of the fabric it can be off to the one side of the fabric And the magnets are such great tools with these figures. It really does help allow you to put things in place without clips that could break and all that sort of stuff. And if he really wants to be in flight motion. Then this is him blasting through. Again, cool little, uh, cool little detail. Very, very cool stuff. I actually, I do like that a lot. I like the... That is awesome. Okay. And the other thing we've got here, oh, this is the pole to help him stand up if he needs extra support. Okay, so that is most of that stuff there. 
All right, so I found the instruction manual attached to the side here. As it always is, as it always should be. Let's see what lights up on this guy. I've got some batteries, so obviously something uh, is designed to connect and light up on his uh, outfit. Let's pull those batteries out to right there. Okay, instruction manual. We happen to have. Ooh, look. All right, that goes in. All right, let's start from page one. All right, magnet on the back. I got that. Ooh, we've got a piece that attaches to the side. All right, so we're going to go back to all these little micro pieces here. On the side of Din's jar and right helmet, right here. There is a connecting accessory for his helmet. So let's put that in place. And these are tiny, wow. So the little accessory is a little tiny little piece that is designed to clip straight on, let's see which direction that goes. Which direction are you supposed to be? Huh. Actually clips in here. So this is where it might help to have some tweezers. And so it seems that in the side of his head, there's a little piece that you don't need tweezers for. Right. So it looks like that this is designed to pop out off the side of his head very carefully. And you can replace it with an additional little piece of his armor. Okay. I'm gonna put this back over here. All right, so what else do we have here? So we've got his changement of his hands. Let's see, I think we're gonna keep him with his blaster hands. I'm gonna keep his blaster on this one. Because my other one, I've got him with his uh, pulse rifle. This is designed, yep, there it is pulls up and the plexi is designed to hook straight into the piece there. Which allows him to be able to sit right there. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna put this little piece in here too. Other additional pieces, it would appear Course, we've already explored his little piece on the top here, but I think I'm going to leave that off there. I'll put that back over there. And we keep folding out this instruction manual. All right, so we now have. Oh, that's cool. Grugu's face actually can come off and be exchanged over with the other smiley face. You can actually remove his head and replace this one's head with that one, if you should desire. And this one, of course, is the smiley googly face. And this one is the more serious face. Two Grogu's for the price of one. Okay. So now we have our Whispering Birds. Oh, 
it looks like these are already attached to that side. But it looks like, looks like you can double up your whispering birds on the other side. You do have the option of putting the whispering birds on the other side. Uh, in this case, I think I'm going to leave them uh, additional whispering birds. And we do happen to have the Beskar shoulder plate. Now that's the regular one, and this is the one after he gets his insignia of the Mudhorn. And I like the Mudhorn one. I think I'm going to switch out the Mudhorn one. And it's velcroed on, so it's got some nice attachment to it. Yep. Now he's got his Signia Mudhorn. That works well for me. Uh, put his old piece in there. We happen to have also a little tiny amulet with that piece, and this is designed to hook around. Young baby Grogu, it seems. So let's untangle this rope. And at this point, this might be too big to fit over the head. I think it's designed that it has to be hooked around the neck. Alrighty, five minutes later, we finally get this little dangly chain on, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see what else we have here. We happen to have, ooh, there is an attachment piece. Oh, I see, all right, cool. Well, guess what? We need to be able to attach something. What is it to the Beskar? What is that? And what am I looking at in that image? Ah, look at that. So there's a piece that clips off from the top of the Beskar, which allows you to put batteries in there. I need a little tiny screwdriver. Okay, little tiny screwdriver. We are going to be putting tiny batteries into the ice cream maker. Might be too tiny. Okay. Okay, now the fun begins. These batteries are always so tiny. All right, batteries are in. Let's put this back in place. Our little clip goes on top and we turn on oh <laughs> oh that's awesome it's designed to light up so it lights up the armor oh that's so cool oh the uh best car Oh, that is that is really cool. The light source in there lights up the best car. That that is sweet. That is very sweet. Ah, I like that. Unfortunately, you do have to remove the clip every time you want to turn on and off. 
the switch, but that's cool too. Okay, so batteries are in that. Let's see, what else are we looking at? Best guy goes into there. And we have here, as we said before, we've got Nando's blaster, which the cool thing is, it is designed to clip onto the back as well as the front. This is designed to clip in and hold its place right in here. That way, it sits over his back. It sits evenly, and that little magnet I was telling you about, the little tear in the fabric, it's designed to hook right up into point here where it holds in place so it sits in place just like that held in place which makes it interesting when we go to put the backpack in so I do want to put the backpack back on again it goes on there we're gonna put the engines on back in here I guess I could sit over his shoulder just nice and neatly, just like that. I do like that too, which is cool. And yeah, what are the remaining pieces have I got here? That's that. Oh, we've got room on his belt for the fob. Let's put the fob on his belt. Okay. Let's just go over his lips. The fob is designed to live right here. Let's call that. Actually, the thermal detonator is designed to, in fact, he's got little thermal detonators on the side there. And we have a little one that can actually come off as well. So we're gonna put that guy in place right here. So one other thing we've got here is the little fob tracking fob and uh, I might actually put that in his hand. Let's see if that's the right hand he should be holding it with. Probably not. So let's look for the right hand. All right, I found the right hand, which is his tracking fob hand. So we're gonna pop this guy off, replace it with it. Okay, and we're gonna pop you back in. So now he's got the tracking fob in his right hand. He also has a vibro blade. I think I'm going to leave that off for the moment. I don't know where the vibro blade is supposed to live. Huh, where does the vibro blade live? Oh, wait, it goes into one of the pockets here. Okay. And that goes into the pocket around the leg. I guess it's designed just to clip on just like that. And we do have the grappling hook, which also can attach, where is it attached to? It's supposed to come off and it's supposed to grapple into the right side. Is that right? This grappling hook is designed to go in 
to the right side, which is also pretty cool. I don't know if it's something I'm going to need for this particular display right now, so I'm going to leave this off. So, there you have it. Great. So, there you have it. Uh, the Mandalorian and Baby Grogu Deluxe Set. Congratulations again, Sideshow and Hot Toys. You have done an incredible job yet again. This this piece is absolutely gorgeous, and I, I feel privileged to be able to put this in my collection. Um, so if you get the chance, go on to uh, Hot Toys or Sideshow and uh, place the order while the orders are still on there because uh, they will sell out fast. Anyway, thank you, everybody. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, I will bring you another unboxing in the future. Thank you.